Okay, I'm back for another top 1%, and we are on to the three sheep difficulty. Serene Cyclades, whatever it's called. Just generic, but it's gonna be more spicy. Much more spicy than previous. This first level, the only static joint you get is down here. I'm not using it. We just have these tiny overhangs to brace on the wall. Uh, the roads are pre-placed. And when I made this, this was actually the number one solution, because for some reason no one had thought to try tension with wood, because wood's not normally good in tension, but you save so much money by not needing these pieces that still works out. No longer number one, though. Number ten. Jeez, I didn't know I'd fallen so much. <laughs> but I guess number one's only like 200 bucks better. Okay, big hydraulic level. When you get into the later worlds, even if it's a the, the world is called generic, it'll still have hydraulic things in it. It'll just be a generic hydraulic level rather than a crazy contraption hydraulic level. So this level, big truck carrying a car stops in the center. Then you get a hydraulic phase. Then this guy and this guy both go. So he's going to go off down here, and this guy's going to jump off of him landing on the bridge and go up here. So we're lifting this during that hydraulic phase. Then there's another hydraulic phase, and this van has to get up here. There are a few funny things with this bridge. One is that during the second hydraulic phase, this is coming down while this is going up. So neither of the sides is locked in. That's why we need, we've got this little rope thing here holding the bridge, and you can't see it too well, but this wood rope holding this point, that just means that during that second hydraulic phase, the bridge won't rotate. This was also number one when I made it, and that's why I stopped at this 38999. <laughs> the meme for Polybridge leaderboards to end at 999. And it's also funny, the guy above me <laughs> stopped at 37999. I'm no longer first, I'm now fourth. This level, I've got a little road here. This level, it's really just that bracing this top bridge is tough, and getting the bridges to support each other is tough, so I've got this funky tension design for the core, some little side things for that, and then just this tiny brace up top to try to make it so nothing wobbles. It looks a bit contradictory, like shouldn't these supports be more on top to be closer to this bridge, but you can't really, right, like even if the support was here and braced like that, you can't really connect it to supports up here any better, right? Like this connection's the best you're getting anyways. This here, it's not going to slow this guy down so that there's only one guy on the bridge at a time. It's going to slow this guy down because these two cars aren't going the same speed and I need them to meet in the center. If they meet on one of the sides, it breaks. But it's going to slow them down just enough that when they meet, they're pretty close to the center. So the forces are evenly distributed, and with 99.95% stress, this one's a bit finicky. Eighth place, top 1%. Uh, another hydraulic level. It's basically, you just, it's a drawbridge, but two cars. You pull your bridge out of the way, you put your bridge back in the way. I don't know, there's a lot of people in the gallery You'll see I've got, this is road, and then a wood, sort of making a muscle with the road. There's a lot of solutions in the gallery where they just connected straight to this road, and I couldn't really get that to work. My roads were always exploding. You can see they're by far the most stressed bits. I don't know what other people were doing differently. It is still 14th, and I did manage to shave enough budget that I'm doing better than some of the people that did get it to work, but... Regardless. Okay, we got a jump. 
<laughs> and we have multiple pendulums. So this guy's going to come down here. It's going to swing off of this. Let's just go in, in slow speed. He's going to come down here. He's going to swing off of this. He's going to get caught by this thing while this is swinging back up. Then it won't swing far enough up on its own. So we have some roads that will push him to make him move a bit faster. And you'll see he landed on the swing at about this height. That swing is going a fair bit above that height. and He just gets flung all the way to the goal. We'll watch it in normal speed. <laughs> and of course this was first when I made it, but Smithy had to come in and be like, aha, I could do that too. Oh, this one's great. So the roads are all pre-placed, and it's just a massive friggin' drawbridge. The reason I like this solution is what you'd think you'd do on this level, and what a lot of people did do. They made this big tension design holding everything, and just had three small hydraulics to pull two roads out of the way. Kind of like, uh, do I still have... I mean, kind, kind of like this solution. This was, uh, my first solution, where I wanted to do it with one hydraulic and thought this was cute. Kind of like this, except people are doing big tension designs rather than using for foundation. Uh, but this design... You just lift half the bridge with this real big rope over the top and this real big steel support at the bottom. And this one, I've spent a long time tweaking this. You'll see the whole friggin' bridge lights up and is about to explode. The reason why I spent such a long time tweaking this is that when I made this, there were, I think, four people tied for this budget, four, 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 and I wanted to be the fifth. Right as I got there, I got to this four, four, one, seven, nine, and I just, like, placed a road down in the middle of nowhere and was just like, okay, let me tweak this till it says four, 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 and then run the bridge, basically. And then someone else broke the tie. Right as I got there, it was just like, haha, I'm gonna go to 44200 something. <laughs> so I deleted the road and it's okay, I'm 44179 instead of five people tied for 44444. And at this point, a few people have improved. Hey, bun. Bun, did you not get to say hi? Okay, bun. Yeah. Got him, bud. Fourth place, top 1%. This level, something funny is going to happen on this level. And you may not notice it just watching. Let's yeah, play it again. Turn off stress visibility. So some of you might see this solution and think this road is gonna like bump him so that he, I don't know, transitions smoothly onto the road or gets a little higher or something, but it doesn't touch him at all. And that is not by design. Actually, it was supposed to bump him a little further onto the road or, or get him a little higher, make a smooth transition, but then I was tweaking something else and suddenly it worked and when I went to delete this, it no longer worked. <laughs> so I just left it. <laughs> I didn't want to keep tweaking, so I have a spinning road that doesn't do anything. This <laughs> fourth place, top 1%. I don't think there's anything else too special. Oh, I do have the funky half-steel muscle where 
one steel doesn't make it far enough here. So I have the funky half steel, half wood muscle where you, if you want the steel to get more of the pressure, you just put it so that it's in the center of the muscle. Yeah, one steel here. Would have been nice to get it to be wood, though honestly the fact that I don't need this to be steel or this to be steel is real nice. Fun. Why are my pockets that delicious? You cute bun. Okay. This level is pre-placed hydraulics. It's pre-placed hydraulics. You get these huge friggin' hydraulics. And this solution is kinda nonsense. It's, it's entirely just because you have these free hydraulics. We're trying to overuse them as much as possible. Get something that's like only barely getting out of the way of the boat and completely reliant on the hydraulics to hold the bridge up. Right, like there's no support here. There's no support here. These aren't connected in any way. This is, <laughs> it is dangly BS. <laughs> hey, buddy. But it's funny. 18th, top 1%. This here is like, I like solving levels like this, where you need to use hydraulic to raise up these three and lower these three, and I probably have a solution where I did that with just one hydraulic or something during the campaign. I think it's gone at this point. But optimizing these levels, you don't get to make a cool contraption, because the way you save money is by just tweaking things until everything works without needing a cool contraption, where it's just wobbling into place. So sometimes optimizing the hydraulic levels is not as cool. There are some exceptions. There's one neat one later on where I still have a pretty good spot on the leaderboard. But yeah, this one I didn't optimize as much. 20th place. Top 1% though. This level's funny. So the way this level works... I mean, there's a reverse checkpoint here and a reverse checkpoint here. The intended solution, as far as I know, is you want to build a bridge that goes above this checkpoint, so he'll go down, and then go and get this checkpoint and reverse, and then come back and get this checkpoint and reverse into the flag. So what's happening here? Is he just going to hit this reverse and then turn around? No, he's going to not hit that reverse. And then he's gonna go up here and hit this reverse. And then on the way back, he's gonna hit that reverse. And it's not as hard to, to make as you would think. If I zoom in here, and I've just tweaked this, if I move this down a pixel, I don't know if some update changed this, but yeah, I move that down a pixel, now he's getting the reverse. So you just, Slowly tweak it, and as long as he's not getting the reverse on the way there, you're good. And you get to that last pixel. And then on the way back, since he's pushing into the bridge rather than away from it, he should flex it slightly more. Not the toughest thing to make. Honestly, the part on the right was a lot more finicky. Hey, fun. This is a good fun. Eighth place, top 1%. So this is basically the same as my casual solution for the level. This was, uh, no, 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 not that. Um, not the casual, well, I mean, I guess um, it was the same sort of thing where I made this solution where one car is lifting the car below it and one car is carrying the car above it. And it's not actually the best solution for budget on this level. The best way to do budget is actually to just make two bridges here using the wall as a brace. And then you can just have this be one toothpick connected directly to this point and save a lot of money not needing all of these supports or this. But since this was the first solution I made, 
for budget and it was number one when I made it, I just shaved the hell out of it. I think it was 35,000 and I got it down to 26,000. So a pretty big shave. Thirteenth still. Top one percent. Ah, yes. <laughs> Big banana. Very little trap door. So all that this level is, is A goes across, B goes across, B goes back and needs to end up on top. So yeah, big banana, little trap door. For some reason, I don't know if I just got lucky while making this, but for some reason a lot of people have had trouble getting rope to work for their banana bridge on this level, and everyone's stuck with cable. So this was like a really easy first place. When I say easy, I mean when I clicked play for the first time, I got second place, and I hadn't yet edited my trapdoor. Eh. I don't know, maybe I'm just banana gifted or something. Anyways, still number one, top one percent. You bun. This is the level in my original solution. Uh, essentially, this top guy is just going faster than the bottom guy, but the bottom guy needs to get in here first. Where I made this convoluted latch where this guy's gonna get stuck until this guy bonks on this thing. Now what I've got here, this road, is one pixel to the right of as far left as you can place it, and I guarantee you whatever solution is best for this level will have exactly this road, because it single-handedly bonks him and then makes him fall behind this guy. And then he actually can't get up without that guy helping him. One. But that is sixth place, top one percent. Uh, and this is the last level of the world. Not the most exciting, just a massive dangly thingy. This one, I don't think there's any backflips in my solution, but. While making this, this bridge survived many a backflip from this guy, where he'd like go up and flip, go back up, flip again, go back up, flip again. Unfortunately, no backflips in the solution. He just goes and gets it first try. What are you gonna do? So yeah, fourth place, top one percent. That's that world. Okay, tomorrow is the spring world, desert springs. Fun. Bun. Bun, get him. You got 